In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some tips for modifying the blur special effect. The blur effect is used very frequently, but it's even more powerful and versatile when you learn to use it with keyframes. That's the focus of this tutorial. Let's show you a 20 second example and then get into the technique. first thing I want to do is click on my FX image at the upper left corner or I can press the F4 key on my keyboard. If you're like me, you probably have lots of effects, so the easy way to find one quickly is to widen the panel and then in the upper right corner you'll have a search box. I'll type in the word blur, press the enter key and now my selections are quite narrowed. So I'll take the blur drag down with the left mouse button and drop it right onto my video in track number one. That in effect blurs the entire video which is not what I want so we're going to do some modifications. I'll click on the effect button above my tracks and that will get me into my effects settings window on the left side. Normally we stop here but I'm going to go deeper into the keyframe button at the bottom of that window. And when I click on that, I see that I can modify my effect over time. There are several of the features or attributes of the blur effect that I want to change. First of all, I notice I have a mask type and it's defaulted to box. I'll click the down arrow and we'll pick circle. And you notice right now I have an ellipse in the center of the screen. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to click on inverse effects so everything but the circle is blurred. And then I'm going to type on mask. When I click on the mask button on the left side, that allows me to change the mask. So we're going to turn it into a more of a circle rather than an oval. And I'm going to move it to center on this brownish building in the middle of the other skyscrapers. Then I'll click on OK. So when we begin our video, you notice we've set several keyframes. The inverse keyframe, the circle keyframe, and the mask keyframe. One of the other ones I might want to set at the beginning is the degree. This is the degree of the blur. Let's intensify it a little bit more. And if I want this very sharp I will leave the gradient depth at zero. If I want it a little more fuzzy, I can move it to the right. In this case, I think I'll make it quite sharp. I'll move it, leave it at the zero measure. And so if I play the video, what will happen will be I will have this mask at this size during the full course of the video. That's not exactly what I want. I'm going to move over into the video. I can drag my time indicator line up here or I can drag the inverted triangle down below the preview screen and get to the frame that I want. And let's go right about over to here. I want it before city center pops up. And I can move down to see where I have my my, my time here, we'll click there. Now that's perfect. I need to go back into my tools. It remembered the time and at this point what I want to do is I want to change my mask. So I'm going to click on mask. And now I want to focus it on the brown building so I'm going to move it over but I'm also going to make it a lot smaller.
So I've changed the position of the mask and the size of the mask. Then I'll click on OK. And it sets a keyframe here for my mask. The other thing I'd like to do at the same time is I would like to change the degree of the blur for everything else down a little bit. So it's not quite so blurry. And then when we move further into our video, toward the end, when we get the phone number popping up on the screen, just before then, I'd like to set another keyframe for the degree of the blur. I'd like everything else to be clear now. And one other thing I should change at this point, if I notice I'm not focused on my building, so I'm going to change, click on mask again. And I'll move the mask over and click on OK. And then I'll take the blur down completely. So let's play our clip as we modified it now and see what happens. Okay, we're focused on our building. Our circle's getting smaller. We're starting to see a little more of the city around the building. And now we're focusing on our property. And now everything is clear and then we pop in the phone number. So that's a nice way to begin to use the properties of your blur in keyframing during the course of your clip in CyberLink PowerDirector.